Hello Virgo, it is Crystal here. Thank you for stopping at my channel. Crystal, okay, whatever, you don't wanna hear me saying. So what we're gonna be doing today, this is gonna be your reading for May. Okay, it's gonna be a general reading and it is for your sun, moon, and rising. So if it doesn't resonate here, make sure you check out your moon and your rising sign because it may resonate over there. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, okay? This is a general reading. So what do we have for Virgo? If I get these cards right. I hope all you Virgos out there are doing well. I wish everybody well. You know what I mean? Everybody should be doing well. I know we all have our, like, moments. We, sh we should all be doing well. So, what do we have for Virgo Spirit? What messages do we have for Virgo? I guess I'm feeling a little silly. <laughs> I'm in, like, a silly mood. I was, like, fine in my last recording, but for some reason, I'm just getting silliness that's coming in. Are you playing games, Virgo? Are you playing games? Are you having a little too much fun, Virgo? Huh? Sorry, I'm shaking it. Okay, I shuffle. So, now, what do we have for Virgo? Okay, first card out. Three of Wands. I'm feeling like you're looking into the future. You're waiting for something. What are you waiting for? I feel like you were waiting for something. One more shuffle. Oof. All right, so something something is gonna come. Something is coming at a completion here for you. Or you are already in a cycle of things completing, whatever it is, okay? I feel like in the past you were waiting for something. You were looking for something, hoping for something, um, dreaming of something to happen, all right? And I feel the like very passionate energy. Maybe it's an offer that you were trying to make, Virgo. Like I feel like potentially you were trying to make an offer to someone and you were kind of just waiting, waiting for it. Hold on, if I can get these cards up. And you're just kind of waiting, seeing if it's gonna if it's gonna come in towards you. Okay, you're you're putting yourself out there. You definitely have a lot of passion. Okay, there was a lot of passion behind you. There was a lot of passion behind you. But, but now I feel like you're in this uh, realization or there's a cycle that's being completed in some way. There's something that is ending and maybe it could be your, it could be your waiting. It could be this. It's just, you're done with waiting. <laughs> okay, we're going to let you are just done with waiting and you're kind of moving on from that. All right, I see underneath is the King of Pentacles. So I feel like this is going to bring you the stability, okay? The King of Pentacles is right under the world card. So this cycle that is, or this, whatever it is that's completed now, I feel like it's going to bring you a sense of who you are in your, in your, um, you know, bring you the stability that you need, the happiness, maybe the material happiness, maybe just an idea of having a good, clean foundation of you and yourself, okay? This is earth energy, so that is you, okay? It could be Taurus or Capricorn as well, but I'm feeling like, Virgo, this is a representation of you, yourself. I'm not necessarily saying that you're letting go, okay? of this idea, but I feel like you're come to terms with it, okay? You've come to accept that you can't sit here and wait, you know, like, because you're wasting your time by waiting. And even though you came in with a lot of passion, okay, like a lot of passion, you have realized that it is time to close this waiting process and just kind of be you. Just kind of be you, you know? So the future energy that I'm getting here for you, Virgo, is I got the I got the hermit and I got the temperance card, okay? And what I'm feeling from that is that spirit is saying you need to move into a direction that 
where you really think about, where you really think about where, what you want and where you want to be, like the whole going within. But sometimes we are going to be faced with things that we don't like to look at when we do that. But I'm feeling a need that you're needing to really go in and see what it is and dive deep in what it is that you really want, okay? And not so much for, you know, whatever you're waiting for, but just for yourself. And I think the growth there, the thing that whatever's going to happen, it's going to take time. It's going to it's going to take patience. Okay, but I see a bright side, you know, with the road down there. Like I see you coming towards the light. And I'm also getting a sense that, you know, maybe you are looking at a relationship you know, or something like that. Maybe you're wanting to have a partner to uh, fill you up in a way and you both mutually do that together, okay? But I can also sense, you know, the idea of, you know, you just trying, you just being good on your, your own. You, you feeling good for yourself and you doing things for yourself. I feel like there's a worry or there was a worry because you were waiting uh, on something to happen and there's like... Like, I feel the passion behind it. Okay, I feel the passion behind it. You're the, the, whatever, that fire, that spark behind whatever it is you were waiting for. But I, and, and not saying that it's not there. I just think you're, you're moving on to an idea that, yeah, it's there. But I don't have to sit here and wait. I don't have to sit here and pine. I don't have to sit here, you know. In, in this room and just constantly think about and wait, wait, wait. Like you can still move on with your life. You can still do the things that you want to do. And if this opportunity comes towards you that you've been waiting for, but you're not really waiting anymore. It's just like, yeah, you know, it's there, but you're still moving forward with yourself that this, you know, this person or this situation or job or whatever it is may come towards you. But I see that you're going to have to definitely, uh, you know, take some time for yourself and really reflect on the things that's going on. Really, you know, get in, get into your intuition there a little bit. Try to figure out, like, ask God, ask your angel. Just ask what it is that you need to be seen. Because I feel like there is a heavenly presence. You know, there is a spiritual presence around you, Virgo, that is going to bring you into a much stronger person. Like, I feel like you are good. The, the King of Pentacles here says you're very stable. Maybe you make, um, you know, you financially you're stable. Materialistically, 3D world level, you're just stable. What other messages do we have? One more. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Crap. One more shuffle. <clears throat> See, like, yeah, I'm like, again, like, I'm just getting that... You're, you've been waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting, okay? You're waiting for that offer to come in. You're waiting for an offer to come in, okay? But I see that, you know, it's like reiterating some of the same energy. You've got the Queen of Wands here. So, I mean, maybe the person that you're dealing with potentially could be a fire sign. I don't know. Um, but I am feeling also, you know, just knowing what you want, having the passion behind it. I feel like the passion with the Queen of Wands that you started out with the Knight, okay, which is very, like, like, let's go. Like, I got all this energy. We're going to go. I'm going to go for you. I'm going to get you in the bag kind of deal. I'm going to hunt you. I don't know. Like, that's, <laughs> that's what I feel like. Okay, but now I feel like you're more um, in the queen of wands energy, which is still passionate. Like, don't get me wrong. It's still passionate. It's just a little more graceful. It's a little more calm. It's a little more like... I'm open to the love and I'm open to take whatever is here and whatever is going to offer to me. And I know what I want, but, but I'm not going to sit there and put a lot of effort in it. You know, I'm not going to sit there and just charge towards it. It's like you're, you're just going to wait. You're just going to wait for it to come. That's what I'm feeling here for you, Virgo. And again, you're just waiting for something to blossom. You're waiting for something to pull through. You're waiting for something to come out of it. And maybe you were in contemplation, okay? 
in this card, I get the same feeling, just waiting, waiting for that offer to come in. Okay, like, and I feel like it may come in, it may come towards you, but I feel like your focus is on these three cups. So, like I said, you're, you're good, you're open to the offering coming in, but you're not necessarily chasing it. That's a better term. You're not chasing it. You're letting it come to you, okay? You're letting it come to you. My hair keeps getting, I, got, I need to cut it. <laughs> what else do we have for Virgo? So you're, oh, hold on. I need another card with that. One more shuffle. Oh Lord. Okay, so Virgo. <clears throat> In this, okay, where you're, like I said, you're going to have to go within right you're going to have to see what it is that makes you truly happy and kind of like you know figure out what it is that is going to fulfill you in some way um and i feel like it's going to take some time like i don't i don't feel like it's you know with the temperance being patience it is something that's going to have to bring on patient you know have patience with and grow and nurture like this is going to be a process for you to come to the realization of what it is that really makes you happy. So, but I see that you will have, I feel like you're gonna just have a lot of more realization in some things and you're gonna have to kind of like turn your back on um, some of the, maybe the ideas that you've had in your mind or maybe the, um, like, you know, in your thought, the things that you wanted to happen, the things that you think about, I feel like you might have to shut some of those back or you might have to let go of some of those things, okay? Because I feel like in the new beginning for you, um, in the new beginning for yourself, it is going to require you to let go of the ideas that might be fueling in your mind. And, and I, I'm getting a feeling like they're not, I don't want to say not realistic, but it's just, you let that stuff consume you. And once you let go of it, and once you stop letting it pierce you, is when you can like see the light better and have more clarity on where you are and where you stand. Okay, this, the King of Cups here, I, it makes me feel like you, Virgo, are, you're, you're softy in some ways. Like, I feel like emotionally inside, you are tender and you're caring, okay? And you might give a very hard front because, you know, maybe you're vulnerable to emotions with people or something like that. Um, but I see that you, you hold, that you do care. Okay, that you do care. But it's like you're almost a little too too nervous, too scared to really dive into being um open, you know, you know, or that vulnerability to show whether it's to this person, I don't know if that's what it is, or just in general, or maybe to yourself and facing that on your own. Um, I have the Knight of Pentacles out as well. So I feel like this is a process that is going to be slow. Okay. But I also feel like with this process that there's a potential that once it's done, okay, like once it's done, once it's you figured some stuff out within you, that you will be ready to offer whatever stability to this person potentially, if it is a person or to the situation, or maybe they will see you differently and come towards you and ready to, you know, offer you. Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? Why is this Knight of Pentacles here, Spirit? One more shuffle. <laughs> okay, so... Funny. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so you have the Chariot and the Knight of Pentacles again, and you have the um, Page of Swords. So, 
what I'm getting from this is, dang it. Okay. So what I'm getting from this is this, I'm feeling like this is more you wanting to offer something that you would potentially be offering something towards this person once you've let go of the idea, once you've let go of the things that you believe in your mind to be true. Okay. And because I feel like the reality is, is you have this idea, but it's not like fully realistic. Like it's good to dream. It's good to have inspiration to move towards something, but I feel like it's just not there. So you're going, when you go through this process and you let it go, I feel like you're ready to offer up whatever it is that you need to offer up. So I feel like this is you. Okay. But wait a minute. I feel like this is them, the other person. Okay. And when you do this, when you are here in this moment, Virgo, ready to offer something because you're good now, this person, this person is ready to offer back and they're going to come in and they're going to come in hard. They're going to see what you got. They're going to see it. They're going to see it. Okay. And they are going to be like, oh my gosh, like what in the world? And they're going to want to come towards you because of it. Which can be great. And I feel like there will be momentum there. I feel like this person, though, has been, or maybe you have, been kind of keeping tabs on each other or, or something. Maybe you're just in communication with each other still. Or maybe you're just friends. Or maybe, you, or maybe whatever situation you're in, if it's like not with a person that you've just been kind of researching and keeping track of what's going on or what not. But I do feel like too, and this is only, this is only for some of you Virgo. I do feel like once this movement has shifted and where you're mutually want, you're offering and they're offering back and they are coming to you very you know, like with a lot of force because they, they see you in this like wowness. And, but for some of you, I feel like after this connection is made, after you're both mutually, I feel like you either need to keep an eye on this person. Okay. Cause if you are going to be together or if you are going to be in a relationship, you need to keep an eye on this person. Okay. Um, because I'm I'm getting shady vibes. I am getting some shady vibes. But that that's just for some of you, okay? Is that I mean, I don't know. That's just for some of you. Shady vibes. Keep a watch out. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so, what last message of advice do we have for Oopsie, Look, keep a watch out. Keep a watch out. What last message of advice do we have for um, Virgo? <laughs> I don't think there is. What last message of advice do you have for Virgo spirit? Oh my gosh, my hair is cray cray. Thank you for bearing with me, Virgo, and your patience. I appreciate it. So. The last message of advice I have for you is the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. So, remember I talked to you about the emotional vulnerability. I feel like you really need to be in touch with your emotions in this situation when you go into the hermit mode with temperance. Yes, it's going to be, I don't feel like this is something that's going to happen overnight. I feel like it's going to be something that is going to be a process, but you have to be in touch with, you know, um, your intuition and, and, and your emotions and who you care, who you really care about and who cares about you. I'm feeling like, you know, the, the people that are around you, do they have your back? Are, are they genuinely, you know, feeling, um, connected to you, you know, or is this something that's just in your head? Is this just something that you constantly think about? I feel like the grief that is here, but I feel like you need to stay out of your head and thinking of, you know, whatever these scenarios are or the ideas or the dreams or, you know, just 
like a false realisticness. I don't know. Like that is what I'm getting, Virgo. Like there's just a sense of you not being realistic in a situation. And I feel like Spirit's saying you need to let go of that realistic situation and be more aware of who has your back, who is really in tune with you. Um, because maybe this person or situation that surrounds you is not really for your betterment. Now, you might believe that this is what it is and this is what you want or this is what you desire or this is what you want to go after. But I'm feeling like you really need to dig in and find out, well, is this person legitimately, do they really care about me? Do they really care about me? Does this situation really benefit me? You know what I'm saying? Um, and sort that through that out because you are already in a state where, you know, you've already let go of the idea of moving towards them, you know, with action like that. And you're just waiting on them. But now it's kind of like, why don't you go and think about why are you waiting on them? Or why are you waiting for this situation to come to a head? Really ask yourself, why am I waiting? Why not go out and live your life and just be happy? Because I do see happiness, full abundance, you know, just joy, just stability, like very easy, like, you know, just, I don't know why I want to say parties, but you know, just there's a family orient family like feeling that I get from this Ten of Pentacles card. So I, I, I feel overall just major stability and happiness for you. Okay. But you got to let go or you got to just assess what it is that you are really thinking about and ask yourself, is this realistic or not? Is this true or not? Does this situation have my best interest at heart? Okay. Okay. That's all I have for you, Virgo. I don't know. I hope it helps. But until next time, I will talk to you later. Love you. Bye.